<laughs> All right, guys, listen. The technical problems that I've had in this hotel room, it amazes me. I've made video after video after video, and this is one of those things where I get frustrated, and my frustration level is different than other people's because I'm trying to help other people, and sometimes when you try to help other people, things get in your way, and I'm not going to allow my frustrations um, to allow me to quit. I'm just going to keep struggling through the problems until I can help more people. Because right now there's people out there who have gotten excited about products and services, whether it be uh, lead generation, technology, health and wellness, uh, candles, bags, jewelry, uh, travel, and they get excited about something and they see the value in it and they get it. And then they show it to their friend or family and they show it to their best, their, their, their you know, business partners and they show it to other people and the other people don't get it the way you do. And you show it to another person and they don't get it the way that you do. Does that take any of the value away from the thing that you have? No, it's still the same value. It's just that other people's opinions slow your vision down. So you just have to go find more people who have the same qualities that you do. You have to find the people who are going to work with you, not against you. And the best thing that you can do for your life, and I'm going to be real, the best thing that you can do for your life is get rid of the people who hurt your vision. The people who tell you, oh, that's just a scam. Oh, that's just a pyramid. Oh, that's just a whatever. If they are slowing you down, cut them out. Even for even if it's just for a season, even if it's your family, even if it's your best, closest people in your life, don't allow people to slow your vision down. It's going to take a while. It's going to hurt along the way. It's going to get painful as you develop into a person. Think of the power lifters. Think of the people who are going doing the, the CrossFit. Think of the pain that they have to go through to develop the skill set, the muscle, the, the, the structure of their body because they break down and it gets uncomfortable. If you're going to the gym and you don't break a sweat, your body doesn't ache, if you're not in pain, if you're not screaming out, you're not working. I'm telling you right now, if you're not struggling, you're not working. If you're not showing 10, 20, 30 people through social media a day using the tools and tricks and things that are out there, you're, you're not working. If it's, all, if it's comfortable, if you show one person a day and feel good about it, well, I showed Jerry today. You're never going to make it. I'm not, I'm, why? I don't want you to be upset because I'm being honest. I don't want you to be frustrated because I'm being honest. If you're not showing 10, 20, 30 people a day, a day, do you hear me? A day, you're not working. I'm going to, I don't know how to be any more real. If, if you think that you're going to win by showing one a day, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Because you're going to have to show a hundred to get one. You're going to have to show a, a thousand to get ten. That might not be entirely true. Some people are better than others. Because in, in your first hundred, you may show 99 and you may have shown 99 wrong. And then all of a sudden you get it right. And then you're going to take, it's going to take you 50 to get one. And then it's going to take you 20 to get one. And then it's going to take you 10 to get one. And then eventually you're going to have it down so pat. You're going to know exactly who your target market is. You're going to know exactly who to show. And you're going to know exactly how to talk to that specific target that you know they're going to say yes. It takes time. It takes skill set. It takes patience. And it takes pain. It takes struggle. I did not become good at making videos by being comfortable. I, 
I'm not a good looking person. My hair's never looking good. I'm not, uh, my teeth are jacked up. My wife's constantly telling me to go to the dentist, get my teeth fixed. I don't always dress well. I'm not the, the most elegant speaker. I'm a regular guy. I'm a regular guy who just wants it more than everybody else. I'm a regular guy who wants to make my family the best family ever. I want to give my children the life they deserve. I want to give my wife all of me. I do. I want to give everything to my family. And it requires my sacrifice. It requires me sitting in a hotel room away from home because I have to go to work because traveling for a living has given us better and greater things. Sacrificing my time and my and me away from my family has given us more because it's a better job, a greater career path, and has led me down some amazing paths to create amazing networks that I, I, I'm passionate about. But I don't plan on doing this job forever. I don't. I don't want to do this job heck tomorrow. But it's not part of. It's not part of the plan yet. It's not. My vision isn't complete. I'm telling you guys. Everything that I'm telling you on these last two videos right here is true. Everything. You have the potential to be amazing. Let, let's talk church for a second. Let's talk religion. Jesus said he came so that you could live abundantly. But so many Christians are going to church right now, right now pr you know, praying that their family doesn't go to hell, praying that, that but they're not being taught to sell Christ. They're not being taught to go uh, go out and tell people about him. They're t being taught to bring people to him and so that they don't have to get uncomfortable and do the work. This is why more people will go to hell if you know you believe in such a thing than ever because you were told that it's your job to go do the work, not that the church's job. So if you're not becoming a disciple and struggling and going through the, the, the stuff that the Bible says, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, it's not going to be pleasant. And, but we don't talk about that. We don't, because it's uncomfortable to tell people they need to be learning to be a disciple. The churches don't want to talk about it. The churches don't want to teach you to be in sales for Jesus, right? I know this is completely a flip of the subject, but it's Sunday and it's the same stupid thing. It's the same thing. You've been going to church your whole life being told to be Christ-like and all Christ-like is, is, is sales. Jesus sold himself. He literally told people that he is the way, the truth, truth and the life. And you, and nobody wants to go tell anybody. Nobody wants to go tell anybody. The only way you're going to get into a Christian heaven is through Christ. Through Christ. There's no other possible way. And if you say there is, you, you missed it. If you, if you think just being a good person, if you think uh, that doing good deeds, or you think that your opinion matters, this is called, this is called faith, right? I believe that, that this is what the truth is. Some people don't, and it's okay. It's truly okay. But if you believe in a Christian heaven, there's only one way. If you don't believe in a Christian heaven, you can believe whatever the crap you want to believe. You can. You can go ahead and do it. I'm telling you. But this is what the church is failing to do right now on this Sunday morning. People are going to go show up, have some rah-rah, sing some songs, Talk about, you know, their opinions from the pulpit. Tell people they need to tithe every single Sunday. Give 10% of their money. All this stuff. But not tell everybody to go. From the pulpit, the pastor is not, typically, 99% of the time, is not instructing you that it's your job to be literally getting them, helping them find Christ, and then bringing them into the church to get them trained up to go back out into the field and find more for Christ. 
That's the purpose of the church. It isn't the church's job to save them. It's your job to introduce them to Christ. If you've missed this in 40 years of going to church, congratulations, the church has failed you every single time. That's not their job. It's their job to train you up, not to do your work for you. And guess what? In your network marketing business, in your direct sales business, in your in your the business that you have out there now, it's not the leader's job to put them in the business for you. It's the leader's job to train them and send them out into the field and get them building and bring them in to get them trained and re- rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. But it's hard to get people to do anything. It is. It's hard. It's hard. People get scared. People are frustrated. People are nervous about what to say. They don't want to learn. They don't want to develop their skill set. They don't want to adjust. They just want to feel comfortable. They just want to feel comfortable. And if you stop being comfortable, you're going to win. If you stop being comfortable. Last night, we, we did a presentation with brand new slides. Scott and I did this new presentation, and I'm telling you right now, I wasn't comfortable. I was, we've been doing it. We've done 700 presentations over the last eight months. I know that seems like a ridiculous number, but that's why we're winning. That's why I've got an Audi in my garage. It's why the, we, we've given 700 presentations. We've led thousands and thousands of people to find an idea. We, we've had a blast doing it. But last night, the presentation changed, the information changed, the and we did the format in a way to produce massive duplication. And we showed people how to do it. Even if you've never done it before, we had never given that presentation before and it was uncomfortable. It made me feel so so like I was not worth it. Like I was, I I was messing up. Like I couldn't say the right things. And I felt like my words were not fluid because it was new and it was not normal. All you have to do is go and read the script. Get uncomfortable because you know what? At 7 PM, we're going to do it again. And then we're going to do it again at nine. And then we're going to do it tomorrow at seven. And we're going to do it again at tomorrow at nine. And we're going to do it tomorrow, the next day at seven, the next day at nine. We're going to keep doing it until it becomes more and more comfortable. And then we'll have to find another way to get uncomfortable so we can grow to the next level. If you're not doing the work and getting frustrated and getting having the pain, don't expect the growth. I'm, I hope that you get, I hope you get this. I do. I hope you get this. I, if you can't tell how, how passionate I am about this, I, I don't know why you're watching. I don't know why you're watching. If you're going to go today and not show anybody, please quit, please. I, unless you, unless you've got, you know, a seriously great excuse, like you, you, you've been, you know, and I'm not talking about my business. I'm talking about in whatever you got. I don't care what you have. I don't care what business you're in. If you're not going to show somebody today or show a whole bunch of people today because it's a Sunday and people are at church and nobody wants to listen on a weekend and it's Saturday, it's it's football day or whatever. I don't even know if football is still even being played, to be honest with you. I have no clue because none of that matters. All of those are distractions meant to keep the middle class exactly where they are, fat, happy, and lazy. And if you don't see that, you're blind. Uh, Fat, happy, and lazy. Let's watch football and scream at a television screen that's a box in the middle of your screen. And if you step back out of your person and saw yourself staring at a tiny box on a wall or on on another tiny box, and you were just, if you could look at yourself sitting there, do you know how silly you would be? sitting there looking at a screen, not able to help anybody, not able to influence anyone, just fat, happy, and lazy. Your brain is the only thing stopping you from moving forward. Fix your brain. (laughs) I'm not angry about anything. I'm just passionate about this. 
I am passionate. I'm direct salespeople, people building their empire, take breaks on the weekend. And I'm just like, why? The slowest growth that we always have is on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm like, it's the biggest day to talk to people because you own all of your time on those two days. You're not giving it to your job. You're not giving it to your employees, but you stink and take breaks on the weekend. Give me a break. It's like, well, I just don't have time. Yeah, I can see that. I can, I can see that. All right. Listen, I love you all. I truly appreciate you being here. If this hurt your feelings, I know I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to help you get free. I'm trying to help you find financial and time and fun freedom. And all you have to do is get stinking uncomfortable. Cry a little bit. Be frustrated. Be angry that it's not working so fast. Be angry that you're not showing enough people. Be angry that you're not putting in the work. Be angry that you're not out there just showing more people a lot. Be angry. Be angry at yourself. Be angry at yourself because if you got passionate about it and you got excited about it, somebody else will too and you just got to find them. You just have to go find them. So guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for listening and I'll talk to you soon.